Well, Aaron, how was that for a hard-earned away victory? Yeah, no, it was. I thought the lads were excellent today for 90 minutes, which is what we've said over the course of the last few games that we've kind of done it for one half and not the other. Uh, I think the first half we did it against Doncaster, but failed to keep it up in the second half, and it was the opposite um, the other night. So, yeah, I think everyone was disciplined for the full 90 minutes, and it was a great team win, and the, the manager touched on that at the end as well. Yeah, they haven't lost here until today for, for a long time. Uh, Blackpool not uh, and keeping a clean sheet against them as well. How impressive is that? Yeah, they've got some really dangerous players which we focused on in the week, and they're a good they're a good side. And we knew we had to have a game plan, and I think everyone stuck to it. All the subs who came on, you can tell the attention to detail that they took on board as well. And I think everyone slotted in really well who came on. And from one to eleven plus all the subs, everyone was just really committed for each other, backing each other up, which is what I've said loads of times when we're at our best. And what about the goal? A corner and Matthew Pennington with the all-important header. Yeah, it's funny because we, we practised about 10 of those yesterday and Chappie kind of P-rolled everyone and then he was like, I'll be all right tomorrow, I'll get a rub on my hamstrings and I'll be all right tomorrow and then he stuck it right on the money. But Penno makes that run really well. He's probably not the biggest centre-half you've ever seen, Penno, but he's really aggressive in the way he climbs for the ball and he, he gets important touches. I think he was in unlucky the other night to get one cleared off the line against Wigan and they went up with Brendan today. He's a great header, so yeah, great, a great winning goal. And the formation, the tactics worked spot on today? Yeah, I thought it, I thought it worked against the side what has got a lot of rotation and try and come into the pockets and we blocked those pockets and tried to counter-attack and I thought we did it well. We, we could have made better decisions, the manager said, and in the opposition half, we, we gave a few balls away, but obviously the first time kind of playing in that kind of formation, I thought the lads took it on board ever so well since Tuesday with a couple of days prep. And you made a few changes for in fact. Uh, just, you just felt it was time to, to, to freshen things up again? Yeah, I think uh, the manager got it spot on with the team and I think uh, giving Charlie Kate and his full league debut, I think he did excellent. Um, worked really hard, always threatened to run him behind. First off, a lot of the time we didn't spot him. He was making really good runs. We could see it on the bench and a couple of times we didn't find him, but yeah, I thought he made good decisions on the ball and worked really hard for the team. It's always such a special moment for a young footballer, isn't it, to, to get the call to say you're going to start for, for the first time in the Football League and special day for Charlie. Yeah, and to get the win as well, he'll always remember that. You, you always remember your debut anyway, I think. I think the lads really got behind him as they did Nathaniel on his debut and I think both of them have come away with victories and a clean sheet. And. Uh, it's a nice feeling when you get that feeling on your debut, but he deserved it. He's been doing really well in training every time he's come up with the first team. And the last couple of games when he's come on, like I said, after Tuesday's game, he's making an impact and getting in the manager's eye so that the manager's given him a chance, which is good. And Dave Edwards returning to the, the starting eleven as well today for the first time in a while. What about his contribution? Yeah, I thought I thought to last uh, 90 minutes, uh, the tractors are here. Uh, to last to last 90 minutes, I thought he was unbelievable. Edo. The manager was ringing me asking how his legs are and is he looking OK, but he's one of them, Edo, that even when he's tired, you know he's going to make good decisions on the ball. He's going to make the right decision. He's going to draw fouls. He's experienced. His positioning's really good. He's a great header of the ball defensively and offensively on set pieces. So he's kind of one that you don't want to take off because he's organising, he's experienced, and you know he lands on things. He's, He's a, yard, he's a yard ahead in his head rather than he knows if he's going to get into a race with a 22-year-old, he has to be three yards ahead in his head. So he's clever at that. So we, we, although we were thinking about it because it's his first 90 minutes, there was no reason to in the end because he was still running about in the last minute. And we've looked at the, the table and we've checked again and again. It, it looks as though this victory does mean that Shoes be a mathematically safe in, in League One. What about that? Yeah, I think obviously it would have been a bit of a... I don't know, to, for us to lose every game and some teams underneath us win every game and kind of limp, like go down or, and we also didn't want to limp over the line by winning. So we've said over the last three games, although they've not gone our way, we've had some positives to take from the games, but the results haven't come and it was important. I thought the, the way the lads came today, they carried on from where they left off the second half on Tuesday, which is what we tried to get them to do and kind of start with that anger and bit between the teeth but the job's not done and we didn't want to limp over the line and I think it was a great performance at a team who was unbeaten in 16 before the defeat to Rochdale on Tuesday. How big, a, how big an achievement is it actually, Aaron, to, to get safe with still four games to, to play given the position shoes we were in when Steve Cottrell was appointed manager? Yeah, no, we just mentioned that in the dressing room. That, like I said, after Tuesday's game and on Thursday in the press, the lads have done unbelievable anyway, no matter what happened, and to come and secure 
the uh, status at a ground like this against Blackpool who are flying is a, is a massive achievement and to do the double over Blackpool as well and two clean sheets against a really good attacking side shows how far the lads have come. And what's the message from, uh, from Steve Codfoot at the end? Just that he was really pleased with him, pleased with everybody. He thought everybody backed each other up when there was mistakes. The mate was there to back him up and bail him out and that's how a team performance has got to be. And I think we were just really, he was really happy with the discipline of the players and the way they went about the game plan that he'd set. You know, Aaron, he must be really proud of the, the role you've played in making this happen as well. And she's been getting saved for, given, uh, given everything that's, that's happened at the club. Yeah, no, I think it's, it's, not just, it's not just me, it's Dave Longwell, Brian Jensen, AJ, Beachy, all the physios, everyone involved. Uh, I think it's been a big group effort. Everyone, everybody knew when this happened to the manager that we had to kind of get around each other and help each other through. And I think the attitude from everyone has been has been spot on. All the players have really been attentive to the situation and and really drove everyone forward. But yeah, I'm I'm just proud to do a job for the gaffer. Really, after giving me a chance, I'm glad to kind of repay it in that way. Well done to you. Well done to everyone involved. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew.